Hi, I'm Jadi and welcome back to my channel Geeking with Jadi or maybe you are new anyway, you are welcomed. And I'm going to start a new series about programming. Ha! I'm not going to teach you Python, Rust, anything. I'm going to talk about practical programming practices. It's a series created to check your microphone, see if it can handle practical programming practices. No, no. It's for sharpening your programming skills. The point is many of us study programming, learn Python, learn Rust, Ruby, JavaScript, Perl, PHP, whatever. How come most of the programming languages start with P? Python, Perl, PHP, programming. Anyway, <laughs> Uh, the point is we study the language, even we master the language commands, we know the syntax, but we cannot program what we want to program. It's a very uh, common misconception that people confuse programming with programming in a specific language. You can learn Python, but it's different than learning programming. When you learn Python and still you cannot program, the common answer is go and practice. But on what? On those boring, find the sum of first hundred integers? Or see what's the thousandth prime? Or print this? How does it work like this? Yes, I believe print 10 lines of this uh, triangle or these kind of stuff. Ha, this is one hand. These are boring. Nobody enjoys solving them, although I used to enjoy, but now we have more fun practices. And on the other hand, we, hand, we have sites with very, very, very in-depth programming uh, practices. They are mainly intended for people who want to compete in programming. But in our normal life, we don't do any of these two. We write programs to manipulate strings, to find the sum of a, uh, some value in a dictionary with some specific criteria, and these kind of stuff. In this series, I want to show you some, I want to provide you is better, provide you some practices which come from real life. At least they are more fun. For example, today I'm going to solve something from a CTF challenge, capture the flag. This is where hackers compete. I will show you the solution, but we will try to write a program for it. Or maybe from my ordinary life, when I'm working, something arises, I, I need to write a small script to do something, I will share those with you and will ask you to solve them by yourself. As I've, as I've told you today, I want to solve, at least start the series with, for example, this DZ program. This is a warm-up, so it's very easy and it's in crypto. And it comes from TFC, which is a very cool CTF, capture the flag. Hackers compete in these competitions. There are different criteria, cryptography, pawning, reversing, MISC, web, and forensics. We are still playing, but I decided to record this since I solved this, which is very easy. It's only for warm. And I'm not going to challenge you to find the solution. I will tell you the solution. I will challenge you to write a program for that solution. This is how you will learn programming. Anyway. In all CTFs, you have to find some flags. In this CTF, the flag format is like this. Everything starts with TFC CTF, curly bracket open, something, which is the question, and curly bracket closed. On this warm up, it says embark on DZ, blah, 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 this warm up challenge, blah, blah. We have this clue and we need to find this flag. A quick look will be super obvious how to solve it. It says curly bracket open six. 
curly bracket closed on 39. T on 4. Another T on 0. So practically, you have a string. T is on 0. This is on point 6. This is on point 39. You have a string where the 39th character is a closed curly bracket. Sixth character is a open curly bracket. Fourth character is a T. This one is known, so it's very easy to guess. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. So this is, this T is on 4. Another T is on 0. Right. There should be a C on, what? C on 2. So this is a C on 2. Very easy. You have this clue and you should extract the output with the logic I described. If you are a hero, you can go now. If you are not a hero or you want to be a hero later, you can wait for three seconds. I will show you my own idea of solving this. Later, I will actually write this program. But you can practice yourself. I will add this to the description of the video so you can copy paste it. Also, I will add it to the Jadi Jadi practical programming practices. If I wanted to solve this, I would put all of this in a string. Then I would split the string because I'm writing in Python, which is the easiest. If you have a string s, you can say dot s dot split with space. Sometimes we show space like this to prevent confusion how many spaces. This will split this string into a list of these. So each element of your list will be one of these because you are splitting based on the space. You are exploding the string in PHP. If you don't know about split or you are writing another language, just do a search. How to split string in Perl based on space. You will find it and you will learn. So after this, I will have a list with these elements. For example, with element T4, with element 325. I have words which consist of any one, one, one by one of these. So I will do a loop on them. Each time I will have one of these. I need to extract T and 4. I need to extract 3 and 25. The first one is very easy. If this is called W, W0 will show the first character. I need the other part. I cannot go with W1 because there might be two characters. So on Python, I can go with W from 1 to the end. There were different methods to do this, but this is the easiest for me. On the Python, you can say from the first one to the end. So this one will won't be there. You will have 4, you will have 25. When you have this, it's enough to create a string and go through all the words, find these two parts, go to place 4, index 4, and replace it with a T. Then go to position 25, index 25, and replace it with a 3 and output the string. A small catch here. Python cannot change characters in place. If you have a string, for example, Jadi, you cannot say, if n equals Jadi, you cannot say n 1 equals capital A. We'll, this will give you an error in Python world. This is how Python is designed. For this one, I will create an answer as an array. We'll put 100 stars in it and easily change their place. You can go and try to solve it. You will see problems, you will encounter issues, but you have to solve them. I will do my solving now. You can go and solve yours. Don't wait for me. No, sorry. Pause me, go solve it. Or just watch. It's your life. 
If I want to solve it, I will copy this first. I will open my code editor. I will say string equals this. Says OK, save it. I will say it's in solve.py. You can use spider or whatever you prefer. Work on the command line as you wish. It's your line. Now I have the string. Let's print the string and see if it works. Ah, it works. It printed this. This is a very, very, very important lesson in programming. If you want me to say what is the most important thing, I would say I don't know. But maybe the most important lesson in programming is a large program which is working used to be a small program which was working. Test often. Don't try to write the complete thing and run and debug. Debug step by step. That way, you will catch error soon. You will understand what you are doing. You will be sure that you are on the correct path or not. If you write everything just like how you write your letter and then run it, you will encounter different errors and it's much difficult to understand what is happening. So let's split this. I say words equal string split with a space based on space print words run it okay splitting works correct so let's go one by one on this for w in words print w it is working correctly I have h8 and n 18. So let's separate the character and the index of each of these. As I showed you, the character will be W index 0, so the first letter, the first character, sorry, and the index is from 1 upward, whatever is there. So W 1 whatever. Print C and I. Ah. C will be in the string format, so I will convert it to integer. Okay, it's worked correctly. H on this position, there should be a 1 in this position, there should be an N in this position, and other stuff. So, I were able to create this. Now I want to print them in order. I can do a sort on this, or I can do what I've told you in the previous section. So let's do that. I will say I have an answer which is an array for i in range of 100, just a large number, answer append an asterisk. Print answer. And I don't need this print anymore. Let's see. Okay, I created an array. Now I have my array. In position 0 is this, in position 1 is this. It's enough to fill this data into this. And I need a way to print this nicer. We already have this. I can say on Python print join the elements of answer join like this. This is why, because I know Python. You can just do a search and find this. I'm saying join all the elements in answer with a dash. Okay, not the nicest one. If I say join without anything, that would be the string. This is cool. You can even create a function for this. Say def print from array. It gets answer and prints this. So I'm not calling it. It's much nicer now. So on each iteration, I'm working on word by word, and these, and I can say s on the index of i equals c, because I said, for example, t seven. Seven is index, t is character. So I say s on the position of i equals c, and I can do my print. Print from array on answer. 
and also print C and I. So I'm printing everything. It would be very easy to troubleshoot. It's not working. Why? On line 15, it says S is not defined. Sure. S is not correct here. It was called answer. Cool. So this is how it works now. When we start, it says, okay, in the beginning I found T4, which is completely logical, right? T4, L6. It says T4, so I put T in the position of 4, counting 0. L16, so I've added L to the position of 16. Dash on 36, I did it. I did this and to the end and this is our answer to the question this challenge makes me dizzy this is how lead speaking works hackers like write like this pretenders hackers who want to shout that I'm a hacker this is better than pretender it is called lead language for example instead of an a you write four because four is this a is this, they are very kind of the same. Instead of an I, you will use one. Instead of an E, you use E. It's called lead writing or lead writing if you, are, if you are a hacker. If you are a master hacker, you may write like this, sorry. Or even this, depends on the level of your hackerness. So, I wrote it for you, now it's working, we can remove extra parts to make it clear and say print found the answer. Now it's much cleaner, found the answer, this is the answer. Hope you enjoyed it, you can practice it, don't write exactly as I wrote. You saw how I solved it, solve it yourself, it yourself. Have fun. As soon as you are done, go for the next exercise. Hope this was cooler than finding the prime numbers. Enjoy.